talk to Garrus, and then we're gonna go to the Citadel and hit up Caden, hit up, uh, hit up my boy Thane, and see if we can get him back in the crew. And go talk to Omega, otherwise known as Arya. And I think there was one other person to talk to there, but we'll we'll do it all basically. Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Pranmark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. You did what you had to. I would have taken the same risk, sir. I appreciate your confidence, Garrus, though it could just mean we're both idiots. <laughs> that will be all. A couple of idiots that I'm glad to have on my ship. How's, uh, how's the calibrating going? Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. And if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Vicarian space, I knew time was running out for all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. 
We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Haven't heard from her since Earth got hit. I'm sure sh she's okay. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damned good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Dude, I love Garrus. Garrus is just, he's so good, man. Such a good character. Love him. One of the best in Mass Effect, for sure. Well, now that we've done all of our chit-chatting, let's go to the Citadel, I guess? Let's look at the journal. Grissom Academy Investigation, Citadel Dr. Bryson, and then Priority Sir Kesh. Primarch Victus has called for a war summit and has taken the unusual step of including the Krogan. Rendezvous with the Salarian ship and use the Normandy as neutral ground for the summit. Yeah, okay. Codex stuff doesn't really matter. They didn't put the stuff with Arya here, which is interesting. But that's fine. So, these are apparent- I think both of these are DLC, chat said? But I mean, also, we want to do them. So, priority missions are main missions. I'm pretty sure is what I've been told. Because, yeah, like, Eden Prime is a DLC thing, so it doesn't count, apparently. But, like, Mars, Palavin, the Citadel, those are all the main missions we've done so far. So, the next main mission is this. Got it. I think in that case, let's go... We started today with the main mission, so let's go to the Citadel now. And we'll definitely get at least one more main mission done today, I believe. Do, do so for now are there more reapers than there were before i do not remember seeing these on the oh they're actually i thought that all of the reapers would be coming from the bottom right and making their way to the top left but it actually looks like they're surrounding the entire galaxy and then going in which is very interesting meet with diplomats i think that's the main mission thing for now i want to go get all these side missions done at the citadel Hello. Touchdown. Oh, you get to shoot. Well, put me at Dr. Bryson's lab. That's where I need to go, apparently. We'll start with that. Contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. 
Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we could just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough is near. Hadley, do you have the data? Oh, he's possessed. Oh. This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Ansem? Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson. There was... A loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. There's some kind of a creature out there that hunts and, like, kills Reapers? I want to say both of these things. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet, given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check.
check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Does this tell us where Garneau went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. Ooh, this is neat. I like... Uh... I don't like it anymore. I think I hate it now. Yeah, I hate it a lot now. This place is awful and I want to leave, <laughs> please. Oh my goodness. Hello, can I, yeah, thank you. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the galaxy map program. Let's keep looking for more stuff first. Yo, this is really neat. I'm really interested in this Leviathan thing. This appears to be encrypted data on Reaper fleet activity. You think it's relevant? Possibly. But it is impossible to say without more data and the decryption key. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands, it won't. The data is encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart. What the hell does that mean? Uh, probably literally on his body would be my guess. Oh, really quickly, Edie, do you have like, uh, ooh, I have some stuff to, to do here. Hold up, hold up. We can max out our fitness. Increases shield recharge delay by 15%, increases op- easy. Thanks for making my shields recharge faster. Health and shields by 25% or melee damage, who cares? Uh, thanks for the health and the shields, much appreciated. And then Edie, oh my goodness, unshackled AI. Hit these all up really quick. Increases power damage. Increase health and shields by 20%. Tech power damage, weapon damage. Shield recharge delay, squad mate tech power damage and duration. Give me... Give me the health and shields here. So that I then can then give you straight up weapon damage there. And then I'll give you shield recharge delay. Because you have the shield bonus in the first place. I think that's a good call. Uh, then... Decoy, reinforce armor with protective whatever. Okay. Give me this. Up to level four. Big damage. And then give me, uh, not decoy, give me some defense matrix. Increases damage protection by 5%. Shield restoration by 30% when purging armor. 